It's Jefferson Graham with USA Today. We are talking tech today with Matt Cutts. Have you ever wondered, how do I get my website so people will find it? Now, Matt is not going to reveal any state secrets here, <laughs> but he's got a lot of common sense things that you could do for your website. And let's start with, what's number one, Matt? The easiest thing is, think about what people are going to type to want to find your site. So we had somebody come to a conference and say, I want to show up for San Diego Chiropractic. And we said, well, have you put the word San Diego Chiropractic on your page anywhere at all? And he hadn't. And sometimes just very simple stuff like that really helps. Think about what users are going to type to find your page, and then just make sure those keywords are on the page. So how important are, are adding the tags to your website? Title tags matter because it's what the user, whenever they search on Google, they see that title tag. It's the very first impression they have of your website. So it pays to make sure that it makes sense, that it, in, it says, okay, this is the information I'm going to get. I'm going to like it whenever they click on a web result. And, uh, and also, there's a lot of other meta tags you can use. We say don't worry that much about the keywords tag, but there's one called the description tag. And the description is just a very short you know, summary of what your website is about. And that is often also shown to web users whenever they search on Google. So if you get the title and the meta description in pretty good shape, oftentimes people will see that in the search results and they'll say to themselves, this is exactly what I'm looking for. And then they'll click on that result. Uh, it's, uh, many people know that links is what, what it's all about with Google. The more people who link to you, the higher you will go. Um, and s you can imagine a lot of people out there will say to you, but Matt, I don't know where I'm going to get any links. Sure. But there are actually many places, aren't there? Oh, there absolutely are. One of the biggest things that I talk about is just starting a blog. And a blog is very simple. It's a web blog. It's a way that you can put posts up on the web and participate in the conversation that's happening out on the web all the time. And if you are one of these businesses that start a blog, it doesn't have to be really complex or you know super fancy. You can start a blog for free, but you can talk about what were your weirdest customers or what made you decide to start a small business. Things that are really interesting to you are probably really interesting to your users as well. And just by participating in that community and being part of that conversation, people will find out more about you as an individual, your business. They'll have a more positive perception. And so just by you know reading on Dig, taking part in these social media sites, so StumbleUpon, uh, Google News, all these different places, you find out what are people interested in whenever they surf around on the web, and you can start with a blog and then think about what are some really compelling ideas, what are some, you know, if I'm a plumber in, in uh, Manhattan Beach or something like that, what are the sorts of strange things that people are running into, or what are the five most common things that happen where you need to fix your toilet? And that kind of content can be fantastic. It can get really, really popular, and it's a great way to get links, wonderful content, no spamming or doing anything unsavory at all. Okay. What do you think is the most common misconception about getting your website found in Google? One of the biggest misconceptions is that you have to pay Google somehow or that you have to pay someone else who will pay Google. Uh, the fact is that Google crawls all these websites for free and we pick up sites quite quickly. So you don't have to do anything special. You don't have to pay Google a cent. All you have to do is try to make sure that Google can find out about your website and we'll crawl very quickly. Um, one other interesting misconception is that some people think that if you somehow buy advertising on Google, you automatically rank higher or you'll do better in the search results, and nothing could be further from the truth. We call them our editorial search results because we don't want them to be affected by money. And so we try very hard to make sure that, you know, it doesn't matter whether you buy advertising or not buy advertising, we'll try to rank you the same either way. I've seen it written that it could take three to six months to have your, your new website found in Google. Is that truth or fiction? Normally that's not the case. Uh, Google's very quick about crawling websites. We typically refresh our entire index every month or so and we can find many websites within days. So one of the secrets you can do is you can go to google.com slash adurl.html and that's just a simple place where you can tell Google a single URL like the root page of your site. We also have a neat feature at google.com slash webmasters and that lets you submit what's called a sitemap. So you can take a text list of all the URLs on your site and you can go to Google and give them that list and that will help us if we want to find out new URLs on your site. So there's some very simple things you can do and typically that means that we'll find your site in days and not in months.